showing you a glimpse of my countryside life. Ayan, dito ako nakatira. We are going on a beach trip today. That's why we are traveling by a motorcycle. Super refreshing talaga dito kasi sobrang lamig talaga ng hangin. And then you can see sugarcane plantations. Ayan, kasi we, lo we live in the countryside part. So, more on mountains talaga doon, farms, ganon, wide areas of land. So, walang dagat. And then, we are going to the city next to our city kasi may dagat na doon. And it's holiday, so we just planned to have a chill day with our family. Nandito na kami sa kubo ng tito ko. This is just for free. Yay! Ayan. Yung kubo niya mal uh, kat katabi lang ng dagat. Ayan. Malapit lang sa dagat. Ganon. At ito yung pagkain namin. Very simple lang. But I'm very excited. Kasi so bang love na love ko talaga yung kinilaw. Ano mo tawag sa inyo niyan? Basta kinilaw sa amin yan eh. As in super love na love talaga. Like favorite. At saka yung nilaga ka saning, super sarap din yan. Paired with ginamos. Ano ba sa Tagalog yan? Okay, here we go. Super yum. The best talaga to kapag nag-beach outing kayo. And then, mais na kanin with my faith kinilaw. Ayan, super excited talaga ako kuma kumain yan. Super gana talaga kapag yan yung ulam. My first floor tung kubo at saka second floor. <laughs> Ayan, pumunta kami sa taas para mag-chill. Kasi sobrang init pa talaga. But very relaxing. Super payapa ng dagat as you can see. Ito yung pamangkin ko sa pinsan ko. Super guapo <laughs> Favorite namin yan. Pero kawawa nga eh kasi nasugatan siya. Kasi super excited. Nako, pagdating na pagdating nila agad sa dagat. Nako, na, nag-swimming agad. Ayun, nasugatan yung paa kawawa. Pero after that, you know what? Naligo pa rin siya. <laughs> Lunchtime! Ito yung food namin for lunch. Sayang hindi ako nakakain ng liyempo kanina kasi super busog na ako sa kinilaw. But ito yung food namin for lunch. We have humba, grilled fish, rice of course, and then pitong baboy. After lunch, we decided to go boat riding na. Ayan. Super lapit lang. Super lapit lang ng pupuntahan namin actually. It's not an island hopping. And say hi to my vlog. They are so excited to see their faces on my vlog. <laughs> Pupunta lang kami sa mga floating cottages, which is very near lang naman. That's my pinsan. Bumalik kami kasi gusto niyang sumama sa amin. Kasi dala namin yung pamangkin namin, which is anak niya. So, dapat sumama siya. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ayan. So, we're on our way. There are so many options naman. Ayan, as you can see, madami talagang floating cottages now. We picked this one. Bago to, kasi noon, nung first time namin pumunta dito, wala pa to. I think this one is new. At medyo malayo na to. I think this is the last cottage. Kasama niyang isang yan, yung katabi niya. But this one is really, really cute. Maganda, malinis. 
kasi bago pa siya. Tapos sa cottage, yan, yung neto yan, idadown yan. So, maka makakalangoy ka talaga kahit super lalim na ng part na to kasi yung net na yan, idadown yan at hindi, magiging mababaw na siya. So, you can really enjoy swimming there for people like me na hindi marunong lumangoy.